Yep. All right. Hi, welcome back to NDI Central Live here at NAB 2018. We're webcasting live from the New Tech booth in the South Hall of the Las Vegas Convention Center. Now, our next guest has a product that really takes advantage of the wireless capabilities of Spark Connect. Uh, Richard Rubin is president of uh, Mobile Studios Incorporated. Welcome, Richard. Thanks, Rex. Nice to be here. First of all, tell us about uh, Mobile Studios. Well, Mobile Studios is a systems integrator, and uh, we're very happy to be a new tech elite dealer at, on top of all that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been in business for about 15 years, uh, specializing in uh, turnkey solutions uh, for anybody from schools to uh, ESPN3 solutions. And where are you based? We're in Florida, South Florida, Deerfield okay. Beach, Florida. Okay, very good. An hour north of Miami. Um, so you, obviously, by the name of your company, you've been involved in mobile production for quite some time. Absolutely. We specialize, uh, we actually have specialized in portable production systems, mm -hmm. and we uh, actually invented a product we call the Portacast, which is a console, mm -hmm. um, and we've been selling a lot of those with new tech uh, products over the years. Uh, it's got uh, two monitors built into a flip lid, mm -hmm. and uh, that's been a our full, full rolling case. Roll it in, flip it open, and you're ready to go. That's correct. That's yeah. correct. And, of course, we do studios, and we do studio installations, too. But okay. um, uh, that's what we do. Very good. Well, tell us about SparkMount. Well, uh, SparkMount came about because one of our customers who wanted to leverage the power of NDI over Wi-Fi uh, looked, at, looked at the Connect Spark and said, you know, this is a great product, but we'd like to put it on a camera mm -hmm. that doesn't have a camera mount, and uh, we want to power it with a battery because it didn't come with a battery. Mm -hmm. So so uh, we uh, designed a mount, which uh, at this point we've trademarked a spark mount, mm -hmm. and uh, it basically it very easily attaches to the Connect uh, Spark, which you see in this portion right here. And we added a battery, so the combination allows it now to be mounted on uh, a any camera using uh, you know a quarter twenty screw. We also have a shoe mount option that comes with it, mm -hmm. and a, uh, a clamp so that you can put on a tripod. Okay. And uh, so now you've got the ability of taking the spark out in the field and putting it on a camera. That's really where it belongs because uh, you can leverage the power of Wi-Fi for a very economical wireless solution. Okay, so does the mount uh, include the battery? Yes, it does. Okay. We have several versions of it. The, this is what we call the Spark Mount Battery Kit, okay. which comes with the mount, comes with the battery, actually comes with a pouch so that you can put it on your belt if you don't want the extra weight on top of your camera okay. and a longer cable. It okay. uh, comes with just about every accessory to mount it uh, on, a, uh, on a camera. Okay. And additionally, we have another model which uh, is self-powered using uh, the battery that is on uh, the type of camera that has a uh, Anton Bauer or a V-mount. Okay. Now, this is the Anton Bauer model, but this would then just clip onto the back of that type of camera, and on the other side, you would put your battery. So we're picking up uh, the battery power from the uh, Anton Bauer or the V-mount battery right here. Yeah, bring it over here. Yeah. And show it to camera. Yeah. Yeah. No, go ahead. Continue. Here. Yeah. So you're, you were showing us the... Uh, the connections down here? Right, yeah, right. So okay. here's your spark sandwiched in between. We sell this as a kit. And uh, so somebody has a connect spark. It's very easy. There's a four screws. Uh, you basically put your uh, spark mount in there. There's a little bit of foam. Compresses down there. A couple pieces of Velcro keep it in place. Okay. Put the screws in. Plug it in. Now you've got yourself a connect spark that you put on the back of your camera. Yeah, I'm snapping it. Uh, yeah. Place it between the camera and the battery. Exactly. And we call this the Spark Mount Pro. Okay. Okay. And then this battery, how long will this power the Connect Spark? 16 hours. 16 yeah, hours. Longer than most productions yeah. take place. And it only takes about six hours to charge. That's great. So Pop it on there, you don't even have to think about it. Don't even have to think about it. Okay. That's correct. Yeah. Now, so you've had some experience in um, using Spark Connect on Wi-Fi out in the field. Tell Abs us about that. Absolutely. And we've, we've uh, worked with our customer, in fact, that's a, a fairly large private school on their football fields, on their basketball courts, uh, to deploy it in, mm -hmm. uh, in the real time. And mm -hmm. we've got excellent results. Now, there's just a couple things that you've got to think about when you deploy Wi-Fi, uh, NDI HX, uh, out of the Connect Spark okay. over Wi-Fi. Out of the box, a typical router in the range is about 100 feet. That's not very good for the average production. Mm -hmm. It's not going to take you too far. You also are subject to interference at 5 gigahertz interf interference, which is the best frequency to use. 
So what we did, we did some research. We started with omnidirectional antennas, what we call them uh, access points, connected to a switch, w which then were connected to the network. And we got fairly good results. But remember, an omnidirectional signal picks up signals from everywhere. Mm -hmm. And the signal strength doesn't compare with the signal strength you get out of a directional antenna. Okay. When we switched to directional antennas, we got solid reception to 450 feet. Okay. In addition, careful placement of that antenna between the crowd or the spectators uh, and the operators will blank out much of the interference that's coming in that they're competing with on that's interfering with the spark. So we found rock solid performance in actual venues uh, where there's actual sports events, football, basketball, with one access point. And if you want to run two access points, you can do that. Mm -hmm. it, even, it even improves it even more. So in a, say, talk about a, a football stadium situation. Right. Where would you mount that directional antenna? Well, if you really want to do it right, and I've got to preface this by saying the access points are very inexpensive. Mm -hmm. The access point itself, uh, which is the transceiver, mm -hmm. mounts on the directional antenna. We found is a company called Ubiquity that mm -hmm. makes very value-priced products in the Wi-Fi realm. Okay. So the combination of that receiver mounted to that directional antenna is about $500. Okay. So it doesn't take much to get two. Mm -hmm. So with a football game, what we recommend people do is put the router up in the press box. Connect your long lens and your wide angle directly to the router without Wi-Fi mm -hmm. to your TC1 or however you're transmitting it back to the station. Okay. And then run two cables. You can run 300 feet of Cat5 uh, to the antenna. Mm -hmm. You know, Wi-Fi, uh, IP Cat6 is fine. Yep. And position those around the 20-yard line. Okay. Okay, now... Those direct Again, antennas. up high? Uh, well, so on the stand or down low? You don't, have to, you, you don't have to get them up high when they're on the field. Okay. And remember, when you're in the press box, you're really not even using an access point. You plug directly into the router. So you've got two cameras up in the press box, okay. a wide angle and the close-up, okay. which is connected directly to the, uh, uh, the switch. So it's not Wi-Fi at that point. Uh, and then you're running your two Wi-Fi uh, access points on opposite sides of the, of the uh, sidelines. Okay. So now you've got your roving cameras along the sides running uh, wide wireless and that's a great solution. Now for basketball it's even easier because the stadium you know the courts are much smaller. Mm -hmm. You can get by with one access point uh, right in one corner. The 45 degrees will cake in just about everything. I see. Yeah. In fact, we have some YouTube videos of a basketball team, uh, a basketball game using one access point. It's on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. How would yeah. someone find that? Uh, let's see. How would you do? <laughs> I guess go to our channel, Mobile Studios USA. Okay. Mobile Studios USA, uh, and you see on our own on channel, you see those, uh, you see those videos. Okay. Yeah. Great. Um, so it's very important not to take Wi-Fi for granted in this case. Absolutely not. You know, we uh, we've answered a lot of questions from end users. Uh, you know, what is the best solution? Or I can't get much range out of my router to a Connect Spark. Mm -hmm. And you know, they're taking a vanilla router right out of the box. So, you know, a couple small antennas and expecting to get that kind of range. Mm -hmm. And remember, these small routers are omnidirectional. They're not that powerful. So you really have to connect your router or your switch to one of these directional. Uh, uh, access point antennas and that multiplies the range by at least three and it also again it blanks out the interference which is another enemy of Wi-Fi yeah. transmission. The other thing that I know that is very important, for instance, if you're using ConnectSpark wirelessly in a, for instance, you're doing a conference, you're in a banquet room, typical situation, you set up in a big empty room, set up your cameras, everything works great with stuff sitting on tables or even on the floor, right? You know where I'm going with Absolutely. this. And Absolutely. And as soon as that room fills up with people, your signal goes right down the tubes. Absolutely. Well, Absolutely. that's because <laughs> as they're referred to as water bags, yep. Wi-Fi does not transmit through water bags very well. So that's you need true. to get those uh, up high, right? Well, it helps. It helps. And it also helps to try to blank out the crowd as much as you can. So when you use a 45-degree directional antenna mm -hmm. and you locate those in front of the crowd, remember, they're not hitting that antenna yeah. if you've got that on the court or you've got that on the stage. Right. And you're sitting between the crowd and that. So that's very, very important yeah. to do. So there's a few little nuances that you really have to be aware of to do it right. But, but if you do that, you get successful results, You get right? very, very successful results. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. yeah.
Well, where can uh, we find more out about uh, your Spark Mount? Well, Just we're more than happy to help anybody, mm -hmm. and not only uh, sell the Spark Mount solutions, but also overall solutions okay. with uh, new tech products. We are elite dealers. Okay. So uh, for anybody that's looking for a turnkey solution, including the Wi-Fi solution that comes with the package, mm -hmm. for anybody that already has uh, new tech products and wants to just get the Spark Mount by itself, more than happy not only to sell them the Spark Mount, but to give them our expertise for free. And, and I believe we're talking about... MobileStudios.com. Okay. Yeah. www.mobilestudios.com. Uh, we've got a number of resellers that are also out there selling it. If you Google Spark Mount on Google, you'll come up with a list, I'm sure, of many. And the yeah. new tech store, correct? That's just coming out. We're very excited about that, by the way. In fact, it turns out that we are the first hardware vendor to make it into the new, new tech store. Up until now, it's been NDI software support. Yes. We're the first vendor that now is providing hardware uh, at the new tech store. Excellent. So, fantastic. Look for Spark Mount coming to uh, the new tech store, uh, which you can find through the new tech website and, of course, uh, uh, mobilestudios.com. That is correct. Uh, you can find out about right. uh, all their integrat integration capabilities, all the systems that uh, they support, and, um, of course, Spark Mount. Great. Richard, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thanks for having me, Rex. All right. It. You bet. All right. Well, stick around. We have uh, more coming up after this break.